Hello everyone, it's Didi here, and welcome to the long-awaited return of alternative builds. This is the alternative build of the newest Quinjet set that came out. Uh, I call it the Shield Tank, and this took <laughs> days to come up with. And there are so many leftover parts that I, I, I tried so hard to build something to go with it. Like, I tried making a prison for Loki. Like, as you may notice, the only person you're seeing is Nat in there. And you don't see any of the others because <clears throat> I couldn't come up with anything. Like, I couldn't come up with a base or a prison or anything. So if you guys can, great. And honestly, if I come up with something, um, like, because when I'm done making this video, obviously, like, I'm going to figure out, am I going to do a tutorial or not? Or am I just going to dismember it and turn it back into the jet? Um, and as for a tutorial, I, I don't know yet, just because, like, this is, this is a lot of stuff. And I know, like, I, I always try to do tutorials for every alternative build, but here's the thing. I didn't like my old method. It's really dusty, because it's been sitting around for a few days, so I'm going to dust it off while I talk. I would the way i used to do tutorials is i would take different areas apart lay them out how they go together and then put them back together um wasn't very effective sometimes the videos were super long sometimes they were super short and then i have an i had an idea a while ago to start like having it like this for example and then slowly removing one piece at a time and with pictures and then putting all those pictures into my editing software and then, you know, just shortening them down and it's like, oh, there, there, there. Sort of like an instruction book. But in order to do that, A, I need a bunch more storage on my phone, which I don't have. B, um, that takes so much longer. Like, obviously, yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying like, I'm not putting nothing into my videos and blah, blah, blah. It's just like the, the, <laughs> the amount of work to make a Lego build tutorial is difficult. Now, some of my mocks, like, oh, yeah, some of them I don't take apart, and I just show how to make it. Now, this one is, this is, like, bad, in my opinion. Like, I like the design, but everything on the inside is just garbage. I was like, this is this is a giant jet. How is it this hard to come up with something? It really was that hard. I mean, like, look at it. The freaking thing on the top wiggles. So let's, I'm going to stop critiquing, and I'm just going to talk about it. So this is the Quinn, the Avengers tank. So in the front, you can see Natasha in there, and if you turn this this way, it has to be sideways. You can remove it. You know, there she is sitting in there. Let me just do this real quick. She's sitting in there. You got the sticker piece there, there, there. I don't know what the hell this is. Um, she sits on those studs right there. You can kind of see on the inside there, like, what is going on here. And, again, it doesn't look that great. Um, she can go back in there. As far as I know, I think you could put Cap and Thor in there as well. But, like, that, like Iron Man's are not going to fit in there. The front here is kind of, uh, um, stickered part here, 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 there, and there. I put a green light on this one and a red light on this one just for some differenti differ differentiation, whatever the fucking word is. Um, now these parts do move. They aren't supposed to, but like I keep them like this because otherwise eventually these top parts will snap off. Um... So you got to be careful about that. This does rotate a full 360 degrees. That was the most difficult part about it. Um, this part does go up and down, but that's obviously where, like, you know, it would shoot. These also move, but they're bent that way for, like, extra detail. Um, I ran out of regular plates, so I had to use ones with clips, and so that's why, like, these are here. So I started to put all the accessories on there, like the binoculars, walkie-talkie, the wrench, the handcuffs, you know. There's those back great things that are on tanks like I had to look at a picture of tank the whole time and try and make it look like that and the making the wheels in this position to where like they're barely visible because like these are wheels tanks don't have wheels so like I had to make this big enough that it would cover so like it will go you know but that was so difficult and all this is like really blocky and just big and I don't like it I I, I you guys asked for an alternative build so I'm delivering and I'm going to try to keep delivering with future sets. Just the only thing is, like, sometimes I would come up with an alternative build and I wouldn't post it because I didn't like it. Or, like, in one case, the actual return of alternative builds was going to be with the Ghost Rider mech. 
because I made an alternative build and posted on my Instagram story called The Rider's Throne, but I built it when I was at home before I came back to college, so I didn't make tutorial because, um, well, A, at the time I didn't have the giant light box, so I wouldn't have done it anyways. B, I just didn't, I was at home, I couldn't film it anyways. Um, and C, I built it because I was bored. But this one, this took way too long to come up with, and it just looks bad in my opinion. And if I would have come up with something else to go with it, it's like I, I, I take a lot of inspiration from my alternate reels from Brick Bros UK. May their channel rest in peace. Um, but what they would do is they would make like some big base and then try to make a vehicle that would go with it. In my case, I made a vehicle and then I tried to make a base that goes with it. But when you use most of the plate parts and brick parts on the vehicle, you are kind of got a lot less to work with there. Now, I'm sure there's something else I could make out of it. I could probably make a truck. I mean, like it comes with, it would be a tiny ass truck. But I mean, I could probably come up with something. There's probably, again, there's probably something else I could come up with. It's just... I know I used to milk the crap out of alternative builds, especially with that Stark Jet. Like that, I made like, how many did I make out of that? Uh, yeah, the underground base, the uh, yacht, the helicopter, the Avengers Tower. Um, so far, that's four. Uh, I feel like I made five, though. I feel like I am missing one. I probably am. I'm not sure. Oh, and then the submarine. I made five. Unless I already said that. Underground base, submarine, helicopter, yacht, and venture. So no, I made five out of that one set. That's milking. That is 100% milking right there. And then I used to do it with the first wave of like news of the Spider-Man sets under the Spider-Man line that came out. I don't know. It's just I'm not feeling it lately, you know, with alternative builds. I don't know, and um, I mean, so there probably is not going to be a tutorial for this. I'm sorry, guys, um, and I wouldn't expect any more alternative. Like, I'm thinking about trying to make something out of the Mandos and one Starfighter, but, like, what, what am I going to be able to make out of that that's going to look good? Because I was like, oh, maybe I can make some sort of rover. It has, like, wheel parts in there, but, eh. I don't know. It's a ship, and it has a lot less pieces than this freaking set did, so I don't know. But as for, like, the next alter the next time you guys can expect an alternative build, or maybe not expect, but, like, hope for, um, I'm looking at, I'm looking at the Mando ship right now and, like, thinking, like, I, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to make one out of that. Um, I did buy another Lego Star set, but it, it's a smaller one, so, like, there's no point to even making an alternative build out of that. Otherwise, that's just, you know, that's just, that is milking right there. Be like, hey, guys, look at this tiny build. I can make it into another tiny build. Um, also, something I would like to add, um, even though I'm not doing a tutorial, is I was trying to not use any parts from the stand, and there were only two I used, and those were the one, but there were, like, this part back here. Hold on. There, this this part back here, but there's one there and one there. I took those off and put them on the uh, interior mechanism. But that's so those are the only two pieces I used on the stand. But I was trying not to use any on the stand. <sighs> yeah. So I I don't really like this. If you guys do and want a tutorial, like I'm sorry, it's <laughs> it's not gonna happen. I don't know. I just I become more passionate about making cool uh, figures and reviewing sets. And then when those sets come out, I use the minifigure parts to upgrade figures. Um, and I, the, I have, dude, I would love to continue doing stop motion. I have so many different ideas, but don't have like, in my opinion, Spider-Man Heartstrings was great. I'm very proud of it, but it could have been better. The quality, it's just the quality could have been better. Like obviously stop motion gets better with time and practice. I hadn't done stop motion since I was like five or six when when I uh when I first did mine like there's a video on my channel it's like I found my first stop motion it was on my sister's Nintendo 3DS they had a stop motion app option and it was excuse me Star Killer or Gallon Merrick versus Battle Damage Darth Vader and that was it and now the file got corrupted so it was like really shaky and everything but it still was pretty bad and honestly I could totally remake that but like the but the Spider-Man Heartstrings was 
it was it was showed at a film festival. So I mean, that's how I know it was really good. It's just the quality could have been a little bit better, in my opinion. You know, I need a camera. I need like I have an actual camera, and I'm gonna bring it back home, bring it back here when I visit home this weekend. Well, not this. Well, you guys won't see this until February 21st because I have videos set up till February 19th. Um, so by the by the time you see this, I'll have the camera, and my one of my buddies. Uh, has a similar camera and we're gonna try and like figure out what's wrong with it and fix it and if we can then hey Maybe I can start stop motion again. However, this camera doesn't have the option to have a remote to just push the button um, It's a whole thing like I would love to do more stop motions and all that. It's just I've become more passionate about figures and reviewing sets and that's really the only thing I can do here um, Maybe over the summer I'll try and do a stop motion. We'll see but for now enough of me rambling on um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like, leave a comment down below. What do you think about this garbage tank build? Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to subscribe to post a video. Peace out, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.